Hi, my name is Kate. Thank you for your interest, and I wish you good vision. In this tutorial, we will explain how to create applications for mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets, with iOS and Android operating systems, via Smart Client. Let's open the configuration folder. Let's open the project options. Let's configure the web tab. Let's allow access via Smart App, with also write access a. Smart App Builder is the visual development tool, for the quick creation of web applications, smart apps, suited for iOS and Android mobile devices, and able to interact with the server application, to monitor and modify the values, of the variables of the supervisory process, SCADA. The final structure of a smart app, is represented by a menu, consisting of the categories, with the relevant items and sub-items, Navigation is the typical one used in all the most popular mobile devices. After defining the project variables, you can assign, for each of them, a category and the display mode, items. For each item, you can define a series of standard graphical controls, including, label, status bar, bitmap up down, edit box, slider, combo box, end states box, switch. Let's give the smart app a name, and enable the display of alarms. Let's assign privileges to the item. Now let's proceed with creating an item. Let's define the title of the item. Let's assign privileges to the item. Let's create a label type item, to show the temperature value. Let's define the name of the label, which will identify the item. Let's assign privileges to the item. Let's then associate the temperature numeric gate. Let's choose an image from an internal library, to be combined with our label. We can also customize its appearance. Now let's add a second item. Let's create an item to modify the setpoint value. Also in this case, let's define the name of the label, to identify the element. Let's assign privileges to the item. Let's choose between the reading and writing objects, the edit item. This will allow modification of the setpoint gate. Also in this case, let's customize the graphic aspect of the item. Now, in a similar way to the previous ones, let's proceed with the insertion of a gauge object, to be associated with the power numeric gate. Always in the same way, let's add a slider type item, and in order to modify the power gate.
Now let's use the end states label object to show the status of the digital variables, alarm 1 and 2. Let's add the two conditions of the digital variable, accompanied by a status message, and an image. Let's add an end states switch control to command the automatic digital variable that controls the plant operation mode. Let's add the two conditions of the digital variable accompanied by a status message and an image. Now we can finally run a preview of our application. We can test all controls and check their appearance. It is also possible to test different orientations of the device. The project is finished. We just have to publish it on the WinLogiva web server space. At this point, we can run our server project. Let's launch a web browser like Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome. The user will be able to connect from a smartphone, or tablet, to the WinLog server application installed on the supervision station, in order to access the information, of the remote production plant. By entering the specific address, into the address bar of a web browser, the user will see the starting page from which to access supervision.
user management, resides on the server, and login is also required by the smart app. Now let's modify the variables on the server, and on the smart app, and verify the correct functioning of the controls. Thanks for your attention. For more information, I invite you to browse our site or send us an email. See you at the next tutorial. Have a nice day.